you've made it. You are ready to duplicate your lesson plans. Here's your master sheet set up all the ways you needed it set up. We've got the dates. We got the fonts like we want them. We got the sizing. We've got the color scheme. We've got the lines. I've done everything I can think of, I think. Now, all that remains is for me to duplicate it. And you don't have to start out with 14 of them. I usually start out a month at a time. And then as I get closer to the end of that month, I can modify it from there and look a week out and a week out. More than that, it's just not feasible for me. Something's going to change. We're not going to get as far as I want us to get. So down here where you clicked on your arrow and renamed your sheet, what we're going to do next, when you're sure you've got it like you want it, is click on duplicate. And that's going to make a copy of the master, which is why I called this first one the master so that I would know. And then this one, I'm going to click on this and I'm going to rename it. And I'm going to call it week I'll probably put that in all caps too. And then I'm going to put in the date. Whatever date conventions you want to put in. I forgot I had caps lock on. Week of August 16. Then I'm going to go back over here to the master. And I'm going to duplicate it again. And the copy of that. Just so I can show you the differences. And it's a copy of a copy of the master. So I'm going to rename this one. It's going to be week August 23rd because that's the next week. And I just date them with the Monday that's involved because that works for me. And the last one is the week of August 30th. That's as far out as I'm going to go for this. But notice now they're all out of order. This is going to bug me. So I'm just going to click and drag and move them. So I have this week and the next week and the next week. And I can start kind of putting my plans together. Now, after the first week of school is done and I'm on to the second week, I don't need this one in my way. I don't want to delete my work, but I don't want to keep looking at it. And that's where this hide feature comes in handy. Now that I have four sheets, I can hide it. Once you've done that, you can use the view menu to unhide that sheet. If this was shared with anybody else, anybody else would be able to see it as well, but it's going to be hidden on theirs and they can move things back and forth. So if I need that again, I can go up here to view and I can say hidden sheets and it will show me all the hidden sheets that I have if I need to get back to that for verification or an idea that I had that didn't get moved or for whatever reason. In this case, I need that week. I want it back. That keeps you from having the clutter of months and months and months of little sheets along the way. So duplicate your original sheet, rename it, click and drag to move them around, hide them when you're done, and enjoy having a set of lesson plans that you can access at school, at home, on your desktop, on your laptop, on your phone if you download sheets and want to, on the tablet, on somebody else's computer if you need to check, and never again leave your lesson plans laying around somewhere where you need them somewhere else. So that concludes our tour of Google Sheets as a set of lesson plans. I hope that was helpful. Please let me know if you have any other questions or if you come up with other ways that you'd like to be able to use this. And let's go figure it out and make our lives easier. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe.